Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video. Uh, as you can see, this is from a different bank. Um, we've got several banks that we deal with, and this one uses Brinks, I believe. Um, so their coins come in plastic wrappers. Um, we've got $100 with the quarters here. Now we can do a couple things. We can look at the ends, see if there's anything interesting on the ends. Some people like to do that. The other thing with the clear ones, we can actually look at these and see, do we see any silver? I don't see any silver. That might be a silver right there. Let's start with that roll painting. There's several really shiny, new looking coins and a possible silver there, indicated by the gray line. That was a question that we had the last couple days was how do you know if there's silver? <coughs> Excuse me, and you can tell that the lingering crud in my voice is still there. Bright shiny one, nice P on the end there. But you get the drift. So we've got a nice mix here. And I'm not really looking at these really as hard as I should, but we're going to crack into this one here and see what we got. This one here is the one I think might be silver. The ones on the end look to be fairly new. So I'm going to see if I can't dump these out in a couple of different piles. That should be the one. Okay, there we go. This one's actually The edge is kind of rolled up on it. Nope. <laughs> That's just a very dirty 94D. Like, or 94P, excuse me. That's a really crusty, dirty 94P. You can't even tell what it is. <clears throat> excuse me. So that's why I don't usually do just, you know, peeking at the sides and counting on that for my silver hunts. Because we've shown in some of our videos you can get tricked here's one here that'll surprise you you look at that edge and that looks this coin looks brand new from the edge and you flip it over and that coin is a 2002 Tennessee state quarter it's a P and that is in AU to BU condition that's a great coin right there. Set that one off to the side. <clears throat> Here's another P. Very nice edge. 2014 arches, but it's got smudges all over it. So that one goes to the return to the bank pile. This one goes back to the bank. 89D. And we're just checking the orientation to make sure that it's heads and heads it's not cockeyed it's not upside down because those would be air coins <clears throat> we talk about that more in detail on in our quarter error um, video 84p 91p two thousand two Louisiana very grungy typical of that condition not like the 2002 that we just picked up and I just spit on the Great Sand Dunes 2014 quarter um, give it a little rub there uh, actually he's got scratches on him I'm gonna set him off to the side here here's another Great Sand Dunes thankfully right behind it that is just about perfect Set that one aside. Coins like that, I wish I was wearing my white gloves. <laughs> we don't usually get coins um, as often as we'd like that um, that necessitate the gloves. In reality, you know, a newer the newer state quarters like that, uh, unless they're silver, the gloves are probably not necessary. Uh, unless you really are using these to try and build your collection. Um, because, you know, it's more critical. 
Uh, for purposes of what we're doing here, there's a 65. You'll see a lot of those because 64 was the last silver, 65 no silver, lots of 65 quarters. <clears throat> Excuse me, 87p. Um, like I say, was starting to say the um, the quarters um, won't tend to pick up your oil from your fingers. I mean, they will, but it won't show as much as say on a penny, especially if you have a proof coin. Then it will on any coin. Um, but for what we're doing here, um, it it kind of I probably should be wearing them, okay, <laughs> but. Um, for the purposes of whipping through these, I don't. And it's uh, is something that that I don't do. Um, 86p. You know, everything about this co uh, coin roll hunting, coin collecting, is really personal preference. Um, handling a very there's another 65, but that one looks like it might have die cracks across there. Let's set that aside for magnification. Um, <clears throat> there's certain things like, you know, not handling uh, bullion, not handling um, uh, proofs, rare coins with bare hands. Um, you want to wear gloves. Um, having said that, like I say, for, this, for the purposes of this demonstration, no gloves. Um, here's a 2014. Unfortunately, it's in nice, not in nice shape. That front looks okay. Wow, that's a 99 Pennsylvania, but the back is not in good shape. Here's a 2014. At first glance, it looked good, great dunes, but I can see the nicks without even magnifying. 84D, South Carolina. Got a great one on our last video. 84p, 79p, bad shape, a p, White Mountain 2013, I'm going to set him aside but I don't think he's going to be a keeper just from glancing, but until we magnify uh, with my eyes, uh, sometimes I miss things so I I go back and take a second look. There's 99 Connecticut. And then here's another Great Sand Dunes 2014. And once again, this is a P. Once again, this one looks really nice. You notice I'm trying to use my fingernails here. Um, let's see if you can see that. Okay, that's good. Right about there. So you can see that's a pretty nice coin. So that goes over to the side. So we're going to tear into the rest of the quarters. Um, we're already over eight minutes. Uh, if we find anything interesting, we'll stop and we'll show it to you. Otherwise, we'll see at the wrap. Okay, here's the wrap up. Uh, you saw a lot of the coins at the very beginning. Not a lot of them, maybe ha maybe half to a third, something like that. Here's the 65 that I thought had uh, die cracks. It's actually someone slashed the coin. Uh, and if you'll notice, I guilted myself into putting on the white gloves, which brought camera girl a really good chuckle off camera. But here's why. Look at the fingertips. That's how dirty the coins are. Um, so on the one hand, I kept my hands clean. But on the other hand, um, this is one of the reasons why I question whether or not wearing the white gloves when I'm doing this is worth really doing because my hands get dirty with this when I'm handling the coins. Um, but you can't argue the fact that experts handle the coins with white gloves on uh, because when you sort through these, you will find in any coins you sort, whether they're pennies, quarters, uh, newer nickels, older nickels, you will find sometimes absolutely perfect fingerprints that it may have been on there for five years and they're there for you know unless you polish the coin you're not going to get rid of that fingerprint but we did find some decent coins here for collectability sake and, and condition we've got 
2014 Great Dunes, 2014 Great Dunes, 2014 Great Dunes, 2014 Arches. We have a 2013 uh, White Mountain. We have the 2002 Tennessee. We have a 2007 Idaho. We have a 2005 West Virginia. And then we have a couple of even older coins, two, a 1998 D that's in really, really nice shape. Very crisp detail um, for a 16-year-old coin, 17-year-old coin. And if that's not enough, there's a 93 D that um, exhibits the same characteristics. I mean, both of these are really nice coins. This one being a little newer is in a little bit better shape, but... Um, um, actually, what am I saying? <laughs> New, yeah, it's five years newer. Uh, anyway, you can see there's slight difference between the two in the detail, but uh, still, for 17 year old coins, these are great. Um, so, either in the collection or possibly at some time back on eBay. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we didn't. Uh, we covered some tips and, de and, and things in the, in the beginning. Uh, all these are going to go back to the bank, and uh, we appreciate the likes, the shares, the questions. Uh, we've been getting lots of questions and feedback. We really enjoy that. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, till next time, JB Coins signing out.